Het is voor mij een riem onder die hart om een sterk vrouw in die corporatieve wereld te zien. En een wat haar eie bezigheid begint. Vandaag praat ons met Fiona Stander, die stichter van Juice Revolution. Fiona, welkom bij die groet en bij. Thank you, Rochelle. It's lovely to be here. Vertel ons een beetje van jezelf en waar kom jij vandaan? Well, I'm a wife and a mom of three boys. I grew up in the Western Cape and... Um, I would say if I have to describe myself, I would be someone that, um, a very determined person, and I've always taken the path least, the path least travel in my life. So I, I studied to become a chartered accountant, um, but as an example, instead of going to university and doing that full time, which was an opportunity on the table, I paid my own way and studied through UNISA and put myself through my articles and my honours degree. I started working two weeks after I finished my trick doing my articles. So I've, I have had quite a broad career. I've worked in very many different industries for a lot of different companies and um, each of those has been a personally enriching reward in itself. You was for 23 years in the corporate world and you had a great skyf in your loopbaan. What was the reason for The way I see it, it actually is not such a massive shift. The only shift, the biggest shift, is that instead of a boss paying my salary, my customers paid my salary. So everything that I have done in the 23 years, I, when I start, I put in 150%, I buy in boots and all, I'm so excited and the passion's there. And once I feel I've contributed and that, that um, I'm no longer enriching or adding further value, I move on. And I've always done that and I've never hesitated. So I'm probably um, a brave person. And I have an unbelievable belief in myself that I can achieve anything. So instead of, you know, you get to a crossroad in your life. Should I move? Should I stay? I've got the security. I've got the salary. I've got the perks. But for me, it's never been about that. It's, do I feel excited to wake up and go to work? And if I get to the day where actually that's now starting to go away, I ponder, I think, and then I make the move. So I made many moves during the 23 years um, and, and drastic ones from literally working for a company and then getting on an aeroplane and flying to Malaysia and becoming a consultant from, you know, this to that without my husband, who was left behind in South Africa and we were apart for a while. And, um, and that's how I have always done things. The overgang van the corporate world to your own business, was it easy and what advice did you for other people that want to this overgang? It was easy in a way, because if you own 100% what you do, then you now start your own business. When you were in a job that was being paid by someone else, if you see yourself as literally you're a miniature business within a business. You need to have, keep your customers happy, which is maybe your boss, and you need to do your work and come up with new ideas. So the way my mindset has always been around my job as an employee wasn't that different when I shifted and became a, an employer. So, you know, one of the big things is that in terms of one's identity, if your identity is attached to your business card, then you're gonna to struggle to make the shift. Mine has never been. So, you know, in terms of understanding, right, where does your hope and your power come from? I understand it comes from God that created me. And if he feels it's time for us to move and go and start something new, then I know that he's got my back and that he's gone ahead of me. So there's no stress in terms of that. Um, when it comes to uh, hard work, I would, the advice that I would give to people is expect to work extremely hard. You know, I, I've been someone that will work till 10 o'clock at night, regardless of what job I had. But as an entrepreneur, it shifted till three in the morning, many a days. So an immense amount of hard work. You've got to be prepared to come off of your pedestal in a way, because you know, you're a senior manager in a company, you've got resources and consultants working for you. As an entrepreneur, you're doing everything yourself. So I have, in my business, done every single job that exists, and we're still small, but I've done it myself. So be prepared to be a jack of all trades and uh, humility is going to be key and hard work. You yeah, introduced Revolution Begin. How come this as an alternative? Uh, well, I think it, it found me more than I went searching for it. So when I left my corporate career, I was not into health. I was living on coffee and rusks. Um, I left as, and actually didn't have a plan. I just knew that what I'm doing now is not working. And if I don't position myself like by leaving, I'm going to stay there for another 10 years. So I left, I positioned myself. I then came across network marketing. I joined a nutrition company in the network marketing field. That opened up my eyes to this incredible world of nutrition and what that, one, what that could do for the body. And then juicing discovered us when my husband's trainer said do a juice cleanse. And that just turned into what we have today with Juice Revolution. Fiona, I will you very much. It was so nice for you to come with us. Thank you, Rochelle. I hope that Fiona inspiration is for you to make this nodige skyf in your life.